the story of THI uh, is the story of the diaspora coming together to come to the aid of our cousins and our brothers in Greece. We started three years ago. It really started from conversations uh, among many of us in this room. And so if we as culture carriers around the world do not demonstrate philotimo and philanthropy for things that are happening here, then I think our culture carrying is incomplete. It was actually the first time that I felt that Greeks from all around the world, not only the U.S., were allying uh, for a specific objective, which was not just you know, give people fish, but also learn, teach them how to fish. And that was, I think, a very important part of, of why I also believe this will have a, a great future. We're going to start off the day with some introductory remarks and a keynote address, and then we'll get right to the companies. There'll be a judging panel, uh, which is going to evaluate and give you some things to think about. And then we're going to take a small break, come back for another set of companies, a judging panel, and we'll end up the day with a nice cocktail reception. Hopefully the outside garden will be in nice shade and we'll have a beautiful afternoon. Right. Thank you all for being with us tonight. Um, the real stars, you know, they're here, the ten teams presenting in the first session and then the remaining nine on the second. I would like to start without taking any much of the time. Yanis, you have five minutes. Good afternoon. Alispera. Captain Dimitris, you have five minutes. learn more about a person in an hour of play than a whole year of conversation. I don't know if you know, but the, the next guy seem to know anyway. We live in a business world that everything changes. That's what we make. Thank you. We live with uncertainty. We live with risk. That's what we do. So we're not afraid of uncertainty. We're not afraid of the winds that are blowing in the political worlds. We're going to go forward, we're going to be successful, and we're going to make our dreams happen. That's what they're trying to do. And with your support, they can do that. Identifying the problem and the market opportunity is first and foremost, particularly with a venture presentation. And I think uh, uh, in a five minute overview, 10 in roughly 30, 40 minutes, I think what we'll do here is challenge the, mem the uh, memory of the judges to recall everybody. Some of the presenters did introduce themselves. There were powerful slides in terms of what the management team, what actually they bring to the table and why they think their idea is so unique uh, with respect to their experience. It's really important when you go into any type of meeting, any type of presentation to actually know the audience. Who are you pitching to? What have these guys done before? What's their background? Where have they invested or not invested? What opportunities have they had? So once you know exactly whom you're speaking to, you can identify your own product, what are the actual pros, and you can potentially have ready-made answers to questions in relation to what they can potentially challenge you. The last hour proved to me why this country should and will have a future. And it goes as simple as that. But we have a saying in the U.S., one should never let a good crisis go to waste. If the Greek people can come out of this challenging time with a reformed system that will defend against the kinds of inefficiencies that helped lead to the crisis in the first place, then there truly is hope for the future. Thank you. We appreciate it. We'll see you soon.